So this question starts off with the equation x squared minus 3x plus 1 equals 0. We're then told one solution to the given equation can be written as this. Right? I'm going to just rewrite that. 3 minus square root n over 2, where n is a constant. What is the value of n? So a couple of hints here. One, we're given a trinomial. Right? We have a trinomial equation. Two, we're told that a solution has this radical in it. The only way that we've learned in school, at least, on how to uh, factor, or I'm sorry, actually solve trinomial equations that may lead to an answer that has a radical is by doing the quadratic equation or the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula says that we have negative b, in fact, x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This is something worth memorizing. Okay, it doesn't show up a ton on the test, but it's definitely worth knowing. So how, how does this work for me? Well, I know that given the trinomial that's been given to me, there isn't a term in front of the x, so that means my a is equal to 1. Right? I can just put a 1 in there. My b is equal to negative 3, and my c term is equal to 1. Right? Because again, this comes from ax squared plus bx plus c. So then putting those two things together, right? So putting this information into the quadratic formula here, I have x equals negative b, but since b is already negative 3, that makes it a positive 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared, negative 3 squared is just 9, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is also 1, all over 2a, right, which a again is 1. So to simplify this, I have 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 4, basically, right? Because 4 times 1 times 1. And that's all over 2 times 1, which is 2, which leads me to 3 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. And, of course, that means we could split this up into this is really being 3 plus root 5 over 2. And 3 minus square root 5 over 2 which looks exactly like what the question told us one of our solutions should look like. And because the question is asking for the value of n, we know that n, right, under the radical, we found it to be 5 here. So that means our answer here is 5.